Welcome and welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Twacha and I make DIY home day refurbishing and sometimes thrifting videos. So if you are into those type of content or you like to do those type of things, you will definitely like the content that I've posted on my channel. Don't forget to check out right after this video and let me get started with today's video. So today's video is about block printing. If you remember, a few months back, I posted a video about Part V1 launching Jaipuri Indian quilt design. So there are so many things for block printing and I couldn't get enough of it. So after that, I called my mom and I asked her to send me a few wood blocks that I can make block printing from. Well, I have to say I'm not a professional artist, but the block prints that the wood blocks that my mom sent me that actually helped me so much to make my desired design on block printings also depends on what kind of ink you use what kind of wood blocks do you have some type of uh, wood that can actually absorb the ink that you're using so for block printing on specific type of cloth requires different consistency of ink water and some other colors so I, I did my research, a little bit of research on block printing and I tried to work on three different things for block printing. I have to say the block printing on paper did not turn really well for me. I was trying to make customized envelopes that did not turn as I was expecting. But I tried to do block printing on cloth and that worked absolutely well, just the way I expected. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the way that I tried to do block printing and I'll show you how it turned out. Keep in mind, this also depends on uh, what kind of wood blocks you have. So if you have some, something very small with complicated designs and the ink that you're using is with a thick consistency, uh, I think it will not work. So for that, you might want to do a little bit of research with your block printing. And let me show you what I made today. I asked my mom to send me a few block print wood pieces from India and she actually sent me. Uh, she sent me one with the border, another one with the leaf and floral and I think the last one was with Hamsa design. So Hamsa is basically a little bit towards a religious side. Although uh, this video is not based upon that, this is just, uh, just because I like the design. Now to get started. I actually took my disposable paper tray and poured some white paint on that, white acrylic paint. Now, to make an actual block print, I had this blue colored cloth bags that I wanted to use it for my jewelry, for my hard drives, something that I can carry with me all the time. And they were really cute. And basically, I wanted to make some kind of a block print on that so I can customize it according to my choice. After figuring out what I'm gonna make on this bag, I just wanted to make sure that I put the right size design on them. So I took a little bit of time to, to decide which bag should have what type of a So once I had that figured out, dipped my Hamsa design into white acrylic paint and started to spread evenly on my block. I made a mistake here. It's basically the acrylic paint that I was using that was too thick to go on this block print. So I had to work around that a little bit. I added some water to even out the texture of the acrylic paint and I started to make block print designs on my bag. Before I do that, I just wanted to give it a little bit of try. So I had one of my bag that I wanted to try it on. So when you put block print on with the ink, you have to press really hard, evenly on every side of your block print. And when I did that, it turned out pretty good. It was not having any issues on this kind of material. So later on, I actually wanted to give try to my actual product so for that i took my blue colored bag and started to print same exact design on that one 
So as you can see here, you have to put a lot of pressure. And when I did that on cloth back, somehow it, it soaked all of my paint from the block and also on this kind of a cloth bag. I was curious to know what made it happen like that. Because if you can see here, this turned out pretty well. So to give another try, I took a few envelopes and I was trying to make my customized ones from that by doing my block print stamp. Now, with that, I took a rose gold paint and I painted my block with that just to make sure that I am spreading the color evenly. When I did that on my customized envelope, it turned out even worse. I don't know what was going on and I had to figure out why is it happening like that. And then I did a little bit of research on some other YouTube videos and I figured out that I had to let my wood blocks dry, entirely dry, and to soak it in oil. So I took oil in my glass bowl and soaked my block print wood blocks downwards where I had the carved design for one whole day. When I took it out, it was all black because it soaked oil entirely. So when it has soaked oil, it will not soak my paint. When I tried to do the block printing while having my ink on that, it will not soak the ink and my ink will completely transfer onto my object. So that was a basic science in that and that was I was supposed to do this even before starting that. So I let my wood blocks dry entirely on a piece of paper for about two to three hours. And then I took a big piece of sponge and cut that into half. And at this time I am doing a different procedure to transfer my ink. I poured my white color on sponge directly and started to make stamps from that. And if you, as you can see here, it turned out really good. It was looking absolutely amazing on this blue and white combination and I was super happy with that. So I made block prints on my blue colored bag with that one stamp. I made one in middle and other ones half and half on all four corners. And I did it in a front and a back, both the sides, and that back turned out pretty well. Uh, and then I'm going to use it for my SSC drive. And for the bigger back, I actually used my bordered wood block and started to make vertical design from that. So wood block was not enough to cover the entire space on my bag. So I made the design according to my choice first and to fill in the gaps, I, I took a towel and covered half of my wood piece and made some designs, as you can see here. So it does not go beyond the border. Keep in mind, this is acrylic paint and just because I'm using it to uh, decor and I'm not going to wash those bags anytime soon. Acrylic paint works nicer that way. If you're planning to do it on your cloth, keep in mind you have to use the actual dye for the cloth. This is something I'm trying for fun. So I tried doing that again with red color. Somehow it was not working again. So at that point I gave up. <laughs> but all the things that I made on blue bag, that turned out really good. I am absolutely in love with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps me a lot. That helps me to gain my YouTube community. Once again, thank you for watching the whole video, and I will see you in the next one.